Nikola Jokic has done what even though I thought he could do, he has surprised some and has led the Denver Nuggets back to a 3-2 lead over the Minnesota Timberwolves. And tonight he has been presented with the 2024 NBA MVP. It was announced upwards of a week ago, but now he gets the award and my God, was he happy? And I'm not being sarcastic, or am I? Let's have a look at the video of him getting the MVP. Well done to Nicola. He truly deserves it. Not much more can be said. And he's very grateful for the crowd. A lot of people say that oh, he's more worried about his horses at home, but he does love basketball. And he's very grateful to play in front of such great fans in Denver. teammates getting around him of course even though it is an individual award the teammates do make it that bit easier to collect that award and when you have teammates like Jamal Murray Aaron Gordon and Michael Porter Jr it really makes it his job much much easier and today Nikola Jokic he got 40 points 13 assists seven rebounds, 68 field goal percentage, all on zero turnovers. And it was an amazing match. He just absolutely dominated Rudy Gobert today. Carl Anthony Towns wasn't of much help either. And he really, really was in that scoring mode today, specifically in the second half. He was assisting today. He had 13, but today was really about his scoring, his efficiency, his ability to not turn over the ball. It truly was an MVP performance. Well done to Nicola. And moving on, the Denver Nuggets are 3-0 since Shaq said that he does not deserve the MVP straight to his face. And that's how you do it. You let your basketball do the talking and you can let these old heads cry at home. So well done to Nicola. He's now shut up all the haters, almost averaging a triple-double on 33 points, efficient shooting and getting a couple steals and blocks. Since that has happened, what more can I say? And since going down 2-0, the Denver Nuggets and Nikola Jokic, they have really just sat forward, taking the game more seriously, knocking down shots, playing better defense. It's just really going very well for Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And let's have a look at what Anthony Edwards has to say in regards to Nikola Jokic. Uh, I just laugh. That's all I can do. I mean, I can't, I can't be mad because he's just he good, man. I think I said that after game one when we won, and in game two, like he didn't repeat the best player in the NBA. Um, and he showed it the last three games, three games. Um, yeah, tonight, he, he was special tonight. But I, I got to give him his flowers. It was, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do. He was, he was that guy tonight. Anthony Edwards, a very respectful player. He likes to chirp and talk sometimes to the opposition players, but he's very respectful. He's giving his props to the three-time MVP, just saying that, what can you do? He's an amazing player. We have some great defenders on our team, but he's just able to withstand them and really, really show the NBA and the world that he's the best player in the world. So once again, well done to Jokic and the Denver Nuggets, and we'll see in a couple of days' time if they can close out that matchup against the Minnesota Timberwolves when the series heads back over to Minnesota. And just to touch on right now, breaking news here, Rafael Nadal will travel to Roland Garros Paris early next week and is set to play his first major since the 2023 Australian Open, what, some 16 months ago? That's crazy. He hasn't played a Grand Slam in a very long time. He's almost been retired since then. Hopefully he can have one last run at Roland Garros, show himself out. It's just no point in retiring. There's no point pulling out. He's healthy enough to play. He can present himself somewhat appropriately in comparison to his career. He has a high enough level to get through the early rounds. Unless he were to face someone very good in the early rounds, which is unlikely, albeit could happen given his unseeded status. I'm sure he'll be able to at least reach the second week and have a pretty deep run at Roland Garros. I'm not saying it's going to be a miracle, but he has what it takes. So that's some great news for the tennis world, for Nadal fans, for tennis fans in general. Rafael Nadal will play the 2024 French Open. So that's about it. Let me know in the comments down below if Denver will win in six games and how far will Rafael Nadal go at Roland Garros. Until next time.